Welcome, I'm Aloxav and in today's video I'm gonna talk about weapons and armor that you can get pretty real in the game and I'm gonna show you how. First, the weapons. You don't actually need a base because you can craft them in a portable constructor. If you access this icon right here, then uh, all objects, and weapons and items, you can see all the weapons and armor, right here, the light armor, that you can craft. The pistol comes already unlocked, but the other ones not so much, so I'm gonna have to open up the tech tree on F3, choose weapons tab, and on level 3 I can unlock the shotgun and the assault rifle. For the sniper rifle and the light armor, I'm gonna have to reach level 5. I'm currently at level 4, and to reach level 5 is pretty simple. I'm just gonna go around and collecting plants and eggs, because all of this gives me XP, so I should be getting to level 5 pretty soon. Just collecting a bunch of stuff. And there it is, level 5 unreached, so now I can unlock the other weapons, so up and up again on F3. And let's unlock the sniper and the light armor. I can actually access it from the inside of the base because the way I set this up. So with them unlocked, let's open up this item again, weapons and items, and let's craft all of them. Let's craft the pistol, assault rifle, shotgun and sniper. The ammo also has some information. You should look for output count because if I press 10, this will actually craft 250 ammo. For this one, the output count is 50, 30, and 15. So that's something you should look for when you're actually crafting ammo. Otherwise, you might just craft a little too much. And they're done. So let's pick it up. All of them. Let's put it here in the toolbar. And pick up all the ammo. They have information over there in my right hand side. But you have more information if you just open up your inventory and hover above it. You have information about the damage, the rate of fire and a whole bunch of stuff. You can see the pistol, it's not the best one. You have the, the assault rifle that does more damage and has a little bit more range. Of course the shotgun does more damage but has less range. And the best one is really the sniper rifle because it has a lot of range and does a lot of damage. They're pretty fun. These are the initial weapons that you can get. As you saw, by level 5, even before you craft yourself a base. And uh, they will help you, obviously, against a lot of things. And also to get some self some sword. The sniper rifle is very useful to shoot down drones. And the zoom actually works if you just scroll in and scroll out. So these are pretty cool. The next thing, you can also craft in a portable constructor. So I'm going to crank up some armor. Light armor. But I will not be able to put it in just on myself. I don't have a slot. The armor should go right here. For that, I'm gonna need a normal locker. And for the armor locker, you need a base or a ship or at least a ship starter or a base starter because you have to put it down. So I'm gonna go into the portable constructor, placeable on bases devices, and I have to unlock the armor locker. You'll see that the armor locker will show in every filter. This actually goes on a capital vessel and a base. It's the same one for both. And then you have the armor locker for SVHV because it goes also in a small vessel or a hover vessel. That's why you find them in all the filters. Since I have a base, I'm going to craft one for a base. So let's just open up the tech tree on F3, go to the base tab. And if you scroll down, you'll find the armor locker right here. For all of these items, all the ammo, weapons, armor, and the armor locker, as you can see, only the basic resources are, use, are, are, are what you need. So you just need iron, silicon, and copper, some logs, and some stone, and you'll be able to craft all of this, even the armor locker. While the armor locker is crafting, let's open up the tech tree again, because the weapons, you can get better ones later on. You have to upgrade your level, but as you can see there are higher tiers for weapons. You can upgrade the pistol, the assault rifle, you have a shotgun tier 2 on level 15, and you can see the stats for them. It actually does more damage, has more RPM, they're all pretty good. Uh, these tier 2 are really good to get. And also you can craft yourself some explosive devices, which you can attach, for example, to sentry guns to blow them up, or to a core in case you want to go into a POI and you also have explosive damage like the rocket launcher or the plasma cannon so as you can see there's a lot to upgrade to 
You'll probably find a lot of these weapons when you're looting, so you won't have to craft most of them. But if you want to craft some of them, you'll see that you're gonna have to upgrade the constructor. The small constructor won't even allow me to do, for example, a tier 2 shotgun or a tier 2 sniper rifle. Of course, they're not locked, they're not unlocked, but I can't actually do them. I'm gonna need more advanced constructors to actually do more advanced weapons. They are done, so I'm gonna pick them up. And the armor locker, you just place in like anything else. And now let's see the stats without the armor. Armor value 0, comfort zone 15 to 35, 0 radiation protection. If I access the armor locker, it shows a little icon where I can put it in. It has some storage and it allows me to put in two boosts. And now the values. I have 100 armor value, comfort zone from 5 to 45 and some radiation protection. It also changes some of my stats. It actually increases my food consumption rate and my stamina consumption rate, but it also gives me a jetpack and a flashlight. So that's a good advantage. You can actually turn on and off the jetpack with the J. That's the default key. I actually have it on mouse 4. You can change it in the settings. And it also allows you for a bigger jump, which is very useful. You just have to wait it to recharge. You can see on my lower left the little, the little fella filling up the meter and this is a breathable panel so I can just take off the helmet with you you also have that icon over there and the last uh, stat on my lower left the 375 is the oxygen of the suits it used to be zero before I placed the armor in and now it's 375 you have other options for armor that you can find in loot or, or buy in a trader if you get a medium armor, it will give you more armor value and three slots for boosts. And the heavy armor will allow you four slots for boosts. The only boost you can actually craft is the evil boost. But I need some gold ingots for that. And this will give me a lot of cool protection, but it has a downside, which is it will decrease my armor life view, my armor <laughs> value by 80 points. So they all have uh, a pros and cons and this is actually the only one that we can craft so here it is an initial guide for the initial weapons that you can grab pretty early and the armor that you can also grab i'm just gonna take off my helmet because i can breathe here thank you for watching and until next time